The desire to care or give a shit about people's feelings and what they've went through and where they're coming from, otherwise known as political correctness, is required to have unity and peace. There's no way around it. We're going to have to learn that the hard way now. Leftists or SJWs telling you to listen and believe certainly isn't going to work. You're going to have to experience and believe. You're going to have to learn it the hard way. People who think that Obama divided this country are eventually going to realize how much of a uniter he actually has been. People are going to realize how divided we can become when we no longer care about the feelings of other people. One good thing to come out of this will be great music, especially punk that, for the most part, will never reach the airwaves but will be a big hit on the internet and in local scenes. There will be a lot of very creative music and art, and in that regard it's probably going to be amazing. Also in those local scenes, there will most likely be a resurgence of unwashed stinky fuckers like myself getting in the limelight, while consumerism and the overusage of needless products takes a dive. The recession of creativity we've been in since the late 90s is probably going to come to an end, but at a very high cost. Political correctness is quite literally the only thing that has kept the real racists, the real homophobes, the real sexists, the real misogynists at bay. It is what has kept those people from eventually going out and committing terrible acts in the name of their prejudices and or hatred. But we're going to learn this the hard way. And eventually, a large enough portion of the LGBT community will be packing firearms so that the real homophobes will be scared to physically assault LGBT people. It will be sad when there is collateral damage of homophobes who only originally meant to verbally insult. It will be sad, but it will also be a very effective deterrent. This could also backfire and cause even more hatred towards the LGBT community, but hopefully not. A lot of racists of any race, as well as the victims of that racism, are unfortunately going to end up dying for similar reasons. This is the type of thing that happens when we remove political correctness from our society. Political correctness is required to have unity and peace. There's no way around it. If you want to deny this, go ahead, and then get back with me in a few years and attempt to say the same thing with a straight face.